Guys, I recently did a video with the Axial 10.3, got rid of that noisy clickety transmission. Finally, gone. And I used the Bauhaus three gear transmission adapter. Went right in, I used the Element Enduro transmission, so it's got a little bit of overdrive on it. Plus, I needed a place for it. I wanted to see if it would fit. It did. Now, crawl's great, click is gone, but it's slow. Got a 10 turn Crawlmaster Pro 550, but home's in it right now. Um, Got to get that speed up a little bit because if you're on a trail, you want to at least be able to move a little bit, right? So, got a 78 tooth spur gear and a Holmes 8 turn Crawlmaster Sport. We're going to get these in here and give it a shot on 2S because I know some of you guys are big 2S guys versus the 3, but so we're going to try both. Take a look. In case you guys missed that video, this is what the 10 3 looks like with a 3 gear transmission. How awesome is that? Uh, move the battery up to the front. This is kind of makeshift, but it seems to be working for now. Wow. Um, had to use a, a drive shaft out of a bomber for the extra length because of the difference here. The front, I was able to use a stock shaft. But anyways, we're going to give this a quick run just for testing purposes on 2S and 3S to get a speed. And then we're going to swap it out to the other motors. The batteries I'm using right there 1500 and 2000 there's a 3s 2s there's the eight turn right there uh these motors right here are phenomenal so get the spur gear in and we should be all set to do this i can more than likely just take the cover off and work on it just like that however uh two pins for the drive shafts a couple wires for the motor and those two bolts right there will remove the entire assembly and put it on the table. So that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes it's worth it just to take the extra step, you know, just to get everything out and make the job easy. You can see the stock spur on the back and the 78 tooth spur up front. So, yep, definitely uh, should be a little faster. The smaller spur gear is on, as you can see. I definitely get to move the motor forward. I'm going to reuse this 22 tooth pinning gear on the new 8 turn motor. If you're unfamiliar with the Pro versus the Sport, it's pretty much everything. The Pro is rebuildable, uh, it's got bearings at both ends. The Sport has a bearing at the front, a bushing at the back. Uh, inside, they are very, very different. But we're just going to leave it at that for this video right here. And yeah, as far as the overall power is concerned, that 10 turn Pro, oh yeah. Super strong, almost brushless power. But we're going to go on with the eight turn. So there it is, and now I have a lot more room for gearing. So that may happen. To make this 22 tooth work, you see that black sticker on the black can? Well, this right here was uh, not allowing me to actually get the proper mesh. So hopefully that isn't going to affect this very much. Uh, I believe these are for magnetism something like that I'm not entirely sure but anyway there it is I'm gonna put the cover back on back in the truck and get this thing right back outside this is 2s that's full throttle <laughs> that is 2s so if you're on a trail and you're hiking and you're a fast walker you'll outwalk this thing easy See if we can get some air. Oh, no. And here's 3S. See, it moves along a little bit better. But not much. That is full throttle. <laughs> That's the 2S. As far as crawling goes with all this reduction, yeah, it's just not an issue at all. I mean, massive reduction. Now, this Crawlmaster Pro 550 is a seriously stout motor. It really is. But I don't expect to be short on power with the Crawlmaster Sport 8 turn either. I mean, even though we're going to gear it up just a little bit, yeah. Doesn't it sound so much better? I 
actually enjoy driving this truck now. <laughs> I really, I mean, I liked it before the transmission swap, but it was just always so noisy. Now let's try the crawl. Oh yeah, crawl is still there. Everything is good to go. Except for when you belly out. There we go. Give me some of that wheel speed. I may be able to tell a little bit of difference between the 10 turn pro and the sport. You can almost hear this motor working a little more, even, even though it is geared off as well. So the 10 turn had a gearing advantage on this. Although I don't see any issues at all. You know, that turn used to be a pain in the butt for this thing. It doesn't seem to be an issue now. Maybe it's that tiny little bit of overdrive that the element transmission is giving me. Maybe. Don't know. Oh, I like that little belly turn. For the rest of the drive, it's just getting a feel for everything and see how it's going to hold up. See, I could use a little bit heavier front end battery on it. That little 1500 does not add much weight. Looks like it may actually stay down though. Be pretty darn impressive if it gets this crawl. Twin Ridges is known for eating vehicles alive. We'll try that again though. As I was kind of off to the right on it. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh man. Okay, now we're going to go down right hook. Beautiful. And we're gonna continue the ride. Now, I do wanna talk about something while I'm driving here, is that the eight turn motor that you see in here running, this is a production motor. Uh, a few years ago at the USTE, John Holmes was actually there. Oh, look at that little lizard. No, I about to say, you better run. But uh, anyways, uh, John was actually at the USTE, and he let me have one of these motors a little bit pre-production. And we put it in a TRX-4 on 3S. And we just uh, drove the heck out of that thing. We probably got, heck, I don't know. Uh, oh, man, I'm trying to think of the hours. Probably got four or five hours on that motor. And it just kept on running 3S. In the TRX-4, it was in the Sportish. You know, it's got the uh, second gear. So, yeah, it's been a lot of time in second gear. We blasted hills. We just did all kinds of crazy stuff with that motor, and it took it. So, very impressive the whole sport lineup of motors is from Holmes. And for around $20, you know, you just really can't... I don't know that these motors can be beat, really. Now, I somehow managed to get on the nasty. I don't know how, but here I am, and I'm in a bad situation right here. That back axle fell off. Looks like we might be all right. Uh, crack of doom uh, did not work out for me last time I tried it with this truck. Don't know if I'll get lucky this time and actually complete it. Try to get that to drop in. Sometimes I can walk it with this truck and sometimes I just can't. Ooh, look at that. Got it. Now just because you get past the crack of doom does not mean you're done because you have the gap of death over here. In some ways I do kind of miss having dig, but and yes, I've only got two body clips in, so yeah. Anyways, now this is where I'm going to get messed up because I'm all crooked. Anyways, this eight turn motor is an insanely awesome motor. I mean, really. Ugh. 
Hey, I made it. Ooh, what do I got going here? What do I have going on over here? Oh, wow. I may have actually broke a uh, portal gear. I have never done that before. Uh, <laughs> Wow, this is a first. I have never broken a portal gear. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess the run is over. I was I wasn't gonna try climb time, but yeah, not gonna happen. Well, guys, the speed is so much better now. Uh, it actually goes faster than I can walk. Well, I can walk that fast, but you know, you gotta jog a little bit. I really need to jog. I really need to. Still haven't opened up that portal yet, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's fried inside. I got parts, I got gear, so I'm good to go on that. So anyway, guys, uh, the eight turn, the smaller spur gear, uh, the 22 tooth pinion gear, which I think I found another one, larger one, but I don't know if I want to put it in or not. I think I like the ratios the way they are right now. I'm also, for some reason, thinking brushless. Ever since I've had this, I haven't really felt a need for brushless power in it or brushless RPM until now. I don't I don't know if I'm going to do anything with it or not, but uh, I do have a few systems around here. Might have to give it a try after I fix that. Uh, guys, in that description are links to the Bauhaus transmission, the uh, adapter. Um, I'll find the Enduro transmission itself. Get that down in there. Uh, eight turn motor, the 1080 ESC, the reef sway bar that's on the back, the reef's wheels, the J Concepts tires. I'll get all that down in the description. So whatever you see on this thing that you like, well, it's easy to find right down below. Absolutely. So guys, use those links in the description. They are affiliate links, Amain, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. They help out the channel quite a bit. So guys, hopefully you liked the video, check that description, use those links. Hit that like button, ring that bell, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.